Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another class of Science Wednesday. So, you've already learned a lot about viruses. We know already how they work, what shapes they have and uh, what it is. What we already know. What a virus is, what shapes a virus can have and how a virus works. Can any virus just infect any species? Well, Alska, the answer is no. Viruses are really specialized. They are professionals on infecting certain kind of cells. There are viruses that are professionals on infecting dogs. Apple trees. Humans. To jump from one place to the other is not that easy. They can do it, and the similar two species are, the easier is for a virus to jump. For example, a virus from a monkey can jump to a person quite easily. From a dog to a person it can jump. So, from one species to another, they can jump in a lot of different ways. They can jump when you get bitten by an animal when you eat the meat of an animal, when you actually play with the animal. So anyway, even if they jump, if the virus is not prepared enough to be really infectious in your body and to be able to jump to another people, maybe one person gets infected, mm -hmm. this person dies or cures, but the virus doesn't jump to another person, then we don't face an epidemic. But if the virus manages to jump really fast by maybe mutating, as we saw in the class yesterday, then this can develop into a new virus that is dangerous for human race. Okay, so maybe we can actually look at some examples of uh, different viruses that uh -huh. jumped from animals, in this case, to humans. Okay. So let's first look at rabies. Oh, let's go and finish. Rabies is a virus that can affect many different species. It is transmitted through saliva and can be transmitted to humans by a bite of an infected animal. If you get infected but you get to the hospital in time, you'll get an antidote and you'll be cured. However, if someone does not get to the hospital in time, this person will die. So either someone gets cured or he dies, but he will not spread it to other people. In the case of rabies, the, the virus is transmitted by biting. This is also why it's not so likely for this virus to spread among humans because we're not gonna mm. bite each other. So the only cases that are known of humans infecting other humans with rabies are people that got an organ, a donated organ. Oh. And those are the only cases. But otherwise, you can get infected and either you cure or you die, but it will not spread, so it will not cause an epidemic. Mm -hmm. However, we're now gonna watch uh, a little video about HIV is a different case. HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, most likely entered the human species via chimpanzees. The chimpanzees were carrying a slightly different version of the virus called SIV, which was probably transmitted to humans when they were hunting the chimpanzees for their meat. People got exposed to the infected blood, and once the virus mutated into HIV, it could infect the human body.
In the 1970s, HIV turned into a pandemic and people all over the world started dying and doctors did not understand why. In 1983, doctors finally understood that the disease was caused by the virus HIV and that it was mainly transmitted through blood, bodily fluids and breast milk. Many projects were set up to stop the spread of the disease, which decreased the number of deaths. However, up to this day, 50 years after the start of the pandemic, researchers are still looking for a vaccine against HIV and for a cure for AIDS. Oh, so then different diseases that come from animals to humans can have different effects on us, depending on how they are transmitted, actually. Some can become an epidemic or a pandemic, others might not. Exactly. What did we learn today? Viruses are specialized in infecting certain species. Viruses can mutate and afterwards infect another species. Viruses can jump from animals to humans in different ways. Some viruses that come from animals will create a big problem for humans, others will not. I think with this we can uh, finish for today. I think so too. You've learned a lot again, <laughs> I hope. I did. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.